Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's Clay with another video. I am the Georgia bottle picker on eBay. I've been selling on eBay full time for about 12 years and I make a good living on eBay. I sell a lot of antique bottles. I sell all kind of vintage and antique items. I sell some new stuff I, and I go to yard sales and buy stuff. But what I like to sell the most are bottles. I love messing with old bottles and I've recently purchased a big, big collection of bottles. And I'm gonna be showing these bottles in smaller uh, smaller collections. I have, I've done sold most of the Pepsi bottle collection that I had that come in this big collection. And I got a Dr. Pepper bottle collection. I got a Cherry Cola bottle collection. I got a big ACL bottle collection. I've got bottling works. Got them from all different kinds of states too. And, uh, the South mainly to some Northern bottles. And today's video is going to be, I'm just going to show some different variations and values of Pepsi bottles. This is the most common Pepsi bottles that I'm going to be showing you when you're out looking, if you're at a flea market or yard sale, to be looking at what you can look out for on these Pepsi bottles. This is nowhere near all the different variations, but the other ones that I'm not going to show are they few and far between. This is the most common. And I'm going to start from the least value to the most valuable in the variations. This first one right here is, they make these in different sizes. This is a 16 ounce, but they have 12 ounces and 10 ounces. It's just a swirl bottom bottle with that Pepsi logo on it. These right here, I wouldn't even bother trying to pick up or trying to resell. I wouldn't put there's hardly any value on these. You might could sell them for a dollar or two or three. I mean, I ain't even looked on eBay and they may be selling for a little bit on eBay. But that's the first variation and I wouldn't even waste my time with them. The second one that's more common is this ACL. It's a single dot. See right there? It's got one dot in between the Pepsi and Cola. And these are not that valuable either. The town, some towns will be more valuable than others. On soda bottles, that determines the value most of the time is the towns, where they're from. Towns determines the value on soda bottles 90% of the time. Uh, there's some soda bottles that are just rare, that rare bottles, but towns create value because small towns, most of the time they're more valuable. This bottle right here, you make it eight or 10, five to $10 for it. According to the town, some towns may bring more than that. But that's probably the most common bottle you will find out in the wild, flea markets and stuff. And the next one is this red and white double dot. See how that's got two dots? Double dot ACL Pepsi Cola bottle is what I, what this is called. The script writing. And some of these will bring, they probably still not real valuable, maybe $10 or $15 according to the town. Town determines value on these soda bottles. The different sizes don't mean a whole lot of difference in prices most of the time on these type of bottles. But the double dot, we started with the single dot. This is the double dot Pepsi Cola ACL strip, red and white. And then we go to the red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue double dot strip Pepsi ACL. And these are a little more valuable than the last ones. This is probably a $15 to $20 bottle, and it could bring more. It's according to the town. Towns on these uh, variations right here determine the value it could. I have sold some of these for $40, $50 a piece. It's according to the town, where they're from. So some of these are rare, scarce, and hard to find. And Pepsi collectors, they like these uh, red, white, and blues. So that's a pretty good bottle. And the next one is... The red and white double dot, two full glasses. See right there on the shoulder? Two full glasses. These are pretty valuable. I mean, they're probably a $20, $25, $30 bottle. And according to the town, some of these towns will bring a lot more money than other ones. The more common ones might only be $15 or $20. But these double dot, two full glasses, these bottles are a lot more valuable than they're, and they'll sell quicker too than the ones without the two full glasses on the top. Two full glass, double dot, red and white, Pepsi Cola bottle. And then you have the double dot, 
red and white script, but it's uh, fountain syrup. Fountain syrup come in these bottles. It'll say fountain syrup on the back right there. Fountain syrup, Pepsi bottle, ACLs. Some of these, I've sold some of these for $80, $90 a piece. But a lot of the time they worth, the, the worst ones are worth $25, $30, $35. But I always price them around $50. Or if I can't find a recent sale, I'll price them around $80 or $90. Because I've sold some of these for pretty good money. These, it's, uh, when you look at these, it'll have fountain syrup right there underneath that. And it'll have it on the back. And it'll have the town on it. But those fountain syrup ACLs are good. And then we'll go to paper label Pepsi Cola bottles. I've sold a lot of these paper label Pepsi Cola bottles in the past. And I've sold some of these for a hundred. I sold some for 150, but most of the time these are worth, it's going to the town. The town's going to determine the value on them, but they worth at least 25 to $30 for the worst ones, unless the label's in real bad condition. And this is the green bottle with just the regular Pepsi on the shoulder. And the towns determine the values on these. And the next one we'll do is the green, red, the green script paper label with two full glasses on the shoulder. These are usually more valuable than the ones I just showed that don't have two full glasses up here. But it's all determined uh, according to the town on also. Cause there could be one like this that has a rare town on it that could be more valuable than these. But these are usually harder to find with the two full glasses on the shoulder. It's hard to find a paper label Pepsi bottle in this kind of condition, but they are out there. I've bought them and sold them in the past. I've sold several of these in the past, these paper label Pepsi bottles. And this is another, this is just a red, white, and blue paper label Pepsi bottle, double dot with the two full glasses on the shoulder. And they do have some uh, red, white, and blue, I think, without the two full glasses on the shoulder. And these are, it's just the towns determined the values on these also. But paper label Pepsi, they bring good money. I've sold several of them. And then we're going to go to the script straight side. This is a straight side Pepsi Cola bottle with script writing on it. And this particular one is the, it's got a frosted neck on it. I call these frosted script bottles. I'm not sure what everybody else calls them. And they have a town, most of them have a town on the bottom. Some of them don't have a town on the bottom. And I've sold the ones without the towns on the bottom for $20, $25 a piece. If they have a town, the town determines the value on them. So you just have to look them up and see uh, how much they are worth. But this is a script frosted neck Pepsi Cola straight side. There is a lot of different variations of these Pepsi bottles, and I'm not going to go over all the variations, but this has the Pepsi on the shoulder. And this was probably a paper label. It could have been an ACL, but it, a lot you don't see many of these with a town on the bottom. When you see these types of bottles here, always check the towns. I mean, always check the bottoms for towns because they got a town on them that puts value to them. But a lot of bottles you find that's got the Pepsi on the shoulder does not have a town on the bottom. All these ACLs have this Pepsi on the shoulder. No town. None of these have towns on the bottom. This was probably an ACL, but it's got a town on the bottom. So that puts value to this. And here's a different variation. This could have been an ACL, could have been a paper label. But see, it's got Pepsi Cola on the bottom and it's got a town on the bottom. But you'd see that sitting on the shelf. You'd think that was a junk bottle. It weren't worth anything. You pick it up, look at the bottom. That's probably a $15, $20 bottle. It might be $25. According to the town, the town determines the value. And then you'll have these block letters. See, this is block letter writing. Pepsi Cola bottles. These are not worth as much as a straight side. This is a straight side to a straight side script. And you'll have some of these that have block letter. I got some that's got block letter right in here and script at the bottom. But the town determines the value on them. But that's a block letter straight side Pepsi Cola bottle. And then you have this 
peanut style Pepsi, or some people call it pinch wasted Pepsi. Some of these are very valuable. Most of them are not, but some of them, according to the towns or where they're from, I sold one of these for $400, but I've also sold them for 35. It's just, some of them don't even have towns on the bottom, but most of them do have towns. And that's the peanut style pinch wasted Pepsi bottle. And then you'll go to the straight side script writing. And there's a lot of different variations of these bottles. Some of them center script, slug plate. Some of them's got the script on the shoulder. But these, the towns determine the values of these bottles, these Pepsi bottles. So I've, on this collection that I've sold, y'all seen some of the sales. If you haven't, you can go back and look at some of my previous videos of some, what some of these straight sides brought. They brought from 300 but you can see this one's probably got a price on it for 55, but they brought from $30 all the way up to a $900. I've sold some for $900 a piece, these Pepsi straight sides. Some of these Pepsi straight sides are rare, rare, rare bottles. And I've done very, very well on this uh, Pepsi collection. And they do have an amber Pepsi straight side. This is the Coca-Cola. I've sold all the ambers. I had five, I think, amber straight sides in this collection but I've sold all of them. And they do have a Pepsi Hutch. I've sold one of them in the past. They hard to find. And they're worth uh, anywhere from 800 to $1,200 probably, the, the Hutchison Pepsis. And then you'll have all kind of different variations that's made by Pepsi. This is Big Nickel, but you can see right there, it has Pepsi Cola on it. It's made by Pepsi Cola Bottling Company. Pepsi collectors, some Pepsi collectors, they want that one of everything Pepsi made. And then you'll have a bunch of different ACLs. This Everest is made by Pepsi Cola. Anytime you see an ACL, you can check and see if it's got Pepsi on it. Because sometimes when it's got Pepsi on it, it makes it more valuable or more desirable. To, it will to Pepsi collectors. See, this is a Jefferson Club. Most Jefferson Clubs don't have Pepsi Cola Bottling Company on it, but some of them do. You always want to check to see if it's got Pepsi Cola. And here's a Kiss beverage. And it's made by Pepsi Cola Bottling Company. Most Kiss don't have Pepsi on them. But there's a lot of different ACLs. This is the only ones I brought out to show that had uh, Pepsi on them. I've got some different, different ones. But Anyhow, that's uh, different variations and values of Pepsi bottles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. All that really helps my channel out. I do appreciate you watching my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. We'll just take a look at them like this right here real quick. Different ones.